Hey guys, for today, I'm gonna be editing and retouching a photo. We're gonna talk about some stuff. It's gonna be pretty laid back, pretty chill, nothing too crazy. This video is actually sponsored by Logitech. They sent me the MX Anywhere 3 mouse. So I'm actually gonna be retouching and editing using this. So I thought, hey, it could be really cool to edit a photo because I haven't edited a photo in a while on here. So I was like, hey, it would be cool to like try it out with the mouse. It's super easy to use, by the way. It took me like two seconds to connect this to my computer. It's very portable, really lightweight. It feels very comfortable. It's cute, you know, pink <laughs> matches with the rest of this little setup we have going on here. Uh, the one thing I really love about this though is it works with multiple surfaces and you can use it in multiple locations. And you guys know photographers are on the go. Some of us travel to do weddings and photo shoots. So sometimes we don't have like a steady space where we can work and we just got to edit pictures on the fly. I've totally done that, especially when I was at the airport, I had to retouch some pictures and get them out and I didn't really have that much space. So this would have been perfect because again, it's super portable it's lightweight you can use it on many different surfaces so definitely something to check out especially for us photographers who are retouching editing pictures if you're having one of those days where you don't want to leave your bed look you can take this put it on your blanket and retouch on your bed you don't even have to get up so i think this really allows you to be super creative no matter where you are check it out i'm gonna have some information in the description on the logitech again it's the mx anywhere three mouse and it comes in three cute colors i have the pink one with that being said let's get into the portrait that i'm gonna be choosing today to edit where did i put it so how is everybody doing okay so we have the photo open right here i really miss this photo shoot we did it in california it was such a nice day i did so many photo shoots i did like literally five photo shoots a day <laughs> during during this time but now i'd be lucky to do one because you know the current situation so all right i'm gonna put this more on the warmer side to start with and then i don't know i'm just gonna kind of see what I like, kind of just go through each one. That's really what I do. Maybe a little bit of clarity. Decrease the saturation a little bit. I just decrease it a little bit. Sometimes the photos are very saturated when you take them, when you first take them, the base photos. Do I want to add a curves layer now or do I want to do it later? Because this is just the raw window in Photoshop. So I can pretty much just make these changes later on. But I'm like, should I do it now or should I do it later, you know? Nobody knows. And the saturation. Oh, you know I'm popping out the greens more. I love popping out greens. But you know what? A lot of people don't like editing greens. And I just realized that. It's like a thing. Some photographers are like, no, I won't even shoot greens because they are they are actually really hard to edit and if you don't have like the right outfit forget about it like it's just not gonna look it's not gonna be a good edit no matter what because you have green in the background i actually got sick of shooting at parks recently i'm like i if you want me to shoot at a park i'm just not gonna do it i'm just sick of it so i think you, we really need to start paying attention to like what colors we have in our backgrounds okay i kind of like Hmm, the aquas like you gotta have really good eyes for this kind of stuff you know what i mean if you had have, have bad eyesight like me you're gonna you're gonna suffer doing stuff like this because you won't be able to tell what little differences things make okay like do we want to add a highlight i don't know i forgot my bright my brightness was on low I, my eyes have been so dry because i'm currently on medication for my skin so it's like drying out my eyes. I had contacts in and I shouldn't have put them in my eyes because they were really dry. And so basically when I took off my contacts, it scratched my eyes so bad. I think it scratched my cornea, but I, don't, I never went to like an optometrist, but I'm pretty sure I scratched it to the point of where I literally couldn't open my eyes. Honestly, could not open my eyes for like three or four hours. It was excruciating pain. So... That's the story of how I scratched my eye, pretty much. But, you know, I need my eyes to see so I can take pictures. So I was wearing glasses for a week or two. 
after that. This medication is really strong. I'm on actually two medications for my skin right now. That's a whole other story, whole other video. My skin problems, but... All right, so I'm on the shadows and highlights. I don't know if I even... I kind of like the yellow being included in there. Like, do I want to add a lot of yellow? I kind of like this. This is kind of cute. But I don't want to add too much yellow, though. So we add a little bit of highlights, a little bit of shadows. They're both kind of yellow toned. And then this is where the magic happens. Red primary. You know, I noticed blue primary is the one that really makes the biggest difference. But you don't want to like overdo it. So, and, and it changes the skin tone. So if you are going to be using camera calibration, you better be ready to adjust the skin tones if you are adjusting the colors. Especially like look at blue primary. I mean, our skin's basically red at that point. So, and then, you know, green. So you got to make sure to adjust the skin tones. So I'm just going to do little changes and then just see what I like. Like, do I like the green, like the more blue green or do I want yellow green? You, you see why people don't like <laughs> shooting with greens for this reason. There's too many choices. See, and then when you up the saturation, her skin literally becomes like orange. You know, you really have to be careful using this. Because some people won't adjust the saturation in the skin. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Uh, you know, honestly, right now I'm just paying attention to the background. So I'm kind of setting the background in this window. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll like play around with a bunch of colors just so I can get a good background. And then I'll just mask the subject out and just do individual coloring for the subject. So you have a little bit more control over that. Because again, you're when you're adding colors, you change up the entire skin tone of the person. And you really want to be careful that you don't overdo it. And trust me, I've, I've been there where I overdid it. Hmm. I kind of like this. This is kind of cute. So that's what we got so far. I love that they have this before and after setting. I don't know if they had that before. I always used to just like delete everything and then <laughs> control Z. But then they added this. So that's what we got. We just kind of popped out the colors a little bit. It's not nothing crazy, you know. Okay, so do I want to make any other changes? Maybe shadows. We can bump that up a little bit. You see how it's bringing in more detail? And again, this is just one of the things shooting in RAW gives you the ability to do. Because imagine this in JPEG. A disaster. <laughs> like a pure disaster. <laughs> Doing this in JPEG. You know what I forgot? The hue and luminance. Okay, you know the reds in terms of the luminance can give you like a really cool look. Especially if you have like red lipstick on the girls. Maybe I'll decrease the reds a little bit. It kind of like darkens up her lipstick. It's like we put a darker lipstick on her. So maybe I'll just do a little bit of that. And then for the hue, I already changed the hue of the greens. Let me like check everything else. Let me, let me see if I really like it. Actually, yeah, I do like that. Okay. Why am I sitting? Why am I wasting my time? I know this. Oh, the yellows is magical sometimes. Like, I really like this actually because you see a little bit more of that brown. But then there's also complete greens in the back. You see what I mean? Like, there's so many different options. I kind of like this though. It makes it look very like woodsy. You ever, you guys ever eat the Keebler Elf cookies? You know, the ones with the, there's a little door in the tree. And there's little elves that live in there, but it's not real, but it's real in the cookie company. I actually really like this. The colors came out really nice. Like, how did I do this? <laughs> I'm, sa I'm saving these colors and applying them to every other picture <laughs> in the future. Do we want it a little bit more on the green side? No, I think I should not overdo it. Who else does this? Like, you have a good edit and then you're like, oh, let's just add 15 more things here. Okay, overall, this is what we got so far. Very happy with it. But why do I keep adding stuff? Who else just keeps adding like the most random stuff? Like you just tick every box just to do more for no re for literally no reason. Like I'm done. I could open this and finish. <laughs> Wait, you know what I want to do? Profiles. Where's the profile? Oh, optics. 
use profile corrections oh beautiful look at i just did so much i just want to click it just to be like yeah i did a little bit of something there you know we changed this up so we're going to duplicate the low frequency layer and then start retouching i really love retouching portraits it's just something about doing this is again just this, the whole process is like very therapeutic like i'm seeing you know the work being done and then like when i finish it i like really accomplish something i don't know it's just it's it's a nice process i really i truly enjoy the editing process but it can be very grueling to get the right colors like i struggle getting like just trying to pick the colors for each picture. I don't know how some photographers do it. Like I truly don't know like how people can be so consistent. Well, actually I kind of do know because they're probably shooting in like the same locations with the same colors. And that's one way that you stay consistent. But I haven't always been good at that. I really just shoot anywhere. But I have to, I kind of have to think okay let me keep the locations a little bit consistent in terms of like colors like just this year i was like okay i would prefer to shoot at like you know a neutral textured wall outside instead of at a park and that's something that i didn't really think about a couple of years ago i was just shooting anywhere but when it comes to like coloring your images that's what why it matters so much because you do want to keep it consistent like if you're trying to put colors that you used from a girl at a park and then use it for you know a, a picture of somebody with some a concrete wall it's just not gonna work it's just not gonna work trust me i've tried it it's very very frustrating like recently i don't know why but it's taken me like a month or two to get pictures back to the models and i usually get i'm pretty good about getting them back within like a week or two but i don't know just lately i've just not not been happy with my my color editing i just haven't liked it i just feel like i could have changed so many things and like i don't know you just never feel like it's good enough and then the worst is like going on Instagram and then you see everyone's perfect, amazing photography and, you know, all these campaigns and this fancy clothes and the setups and you feel so discouraged and you're like, what am I even doing? Like, why am I even doing this? Trust me, I've been through it too. I actually love her freckles, so I don't want to get rid of her freckles. And you know what really shocked me though? In Japan... If you guys watch the taking pictures of strangers in Japan, I complimented this girl's freckles and she's like, no, no. Like she was like shocked. She's like, no, I don't like them. I'm like, what? Freckles are so beautiful. I wish I had freckles. So gorgeous. And it's so weird because I guess in Japan, they're, people don't like them. I don't know why. I think that they're gorgeous. Okay, and we're going to take the high frequency layer, duplicate it, and then I just turned it off. And I, I just have like duplicate layers. Just They're like my backup layers. If I mess up, I can always go back. So just for like these tiny little things, like you think anyone's going to be able to see like that little tiny? No, but I don't know why I just need to retouch it because I can see it. It's the things that I can notice, you know? But seriously, when I scratched my eyes, you guys, I don't think you guys, like, you know when people get LASIK surgery, I really felt like, okay, I just, like, my eyeballs were, like, scratched up from within. And you know what? I should have never have put, put, I should have never put in my contacts, but we were doing the male versus female video, and I really wanted to wear them. I knew my eyes were dry, and I should have just not put them in. But against my better judgment... And the rest, the, uh, the entire half of the day, I was in pain crying and I literally could not open my eyes. I remember one of my friends was with me. We went to a Walgreens so I can get the eye drops because I thought eye drops would help me. And I could, how about this? I couldn't even open my eyes to read the, the box, like the, the different eye drops. I had to leave the store and have my, my friend had to like read them to, to me. He was like, okay, is, okay, this one's the optic, fresh, blink, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, that's not the one. You know what I mean? He was like reading it to me. 
because I literally couldn't open my eyes. It was so bad. You really need to take care of your eyes, especially if you're a photographer, you know? So I take that stuff very seriously. But I do like wearing glasses. I do like wearing glasses. But sometimes, like, you can't see. It gets so messy and your lenses get dirty every two minutes. Like, I'll clean them and then they'll get messy again. And I'm like, why? So this is looking really good. Let me show you guys before and after. We're going to be adding a little bit more color to this. So I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then selective color. Okay, I love the yellows and the greens. You will find me in the, here, you know what I mean? So like lifting up the blacks for the yellows, is, it makes it so, you get so many pretty choices. <laughs> and again, I'm just really not good at making choices. Kind of don't mind it being on the more soft side, you know? What else has been going on with me? Just trying to like stay positive during this time, you know, it can be really tough. So just trying to like keep up with everybody, stay in touch with friends and family. So I think just, and, and also exercising has been really important to me. I know it doesn't look like I exercise, but I really do. <laughs> just trying to be more active, I think. And also playing lots of video games is what I've been doing. Oh, this is really cute. I like this. Okay. That's cute. Okay. A little bit of selective color. So next, I'm going to add a curves layer. Why did I go to vector mask? <laughs> okay, Jessica, get it together. Okay, curves. Kind of like that pop of color. But, you know, somehow it feels like it's very saturated. Like I'm looking at it and like, I don't know. I don't want it to be too saturated. Maybe I will just decrease the saturation a little bit. Okay, just like that. I don't know. Did that even make a difference? You know what? I do want to add photo filter. I like the look of photo filter. It just it kind of adds something. Obviously, it is adding something because it's a light. You know, that's what it's supposed to do. But it kind of warms up the photo. I've been told that some of my photos have a warm tone to them. And I'm like, really? Can you show me which ones? Because I don't see it. Should we do a gradient map or is that too much? That's probably too much, but who cares? You know, I've really enjoyed watching daily vlogs. Like people just talking about their life, doing their makeup, all that stuff. Or just like going out. I, I really admire the people who take the, their camera like when they're going to fill up gas, like just bring us along their entire day. Like I love that. There's been some vloggers that I've been watching recently and I've been really enjoying. It's like you're keeping up with their life. I don't, is that weird to say? I don't know. But I enjoy watching these YouTubers. Like I've been watching um, like Sunday Love. She's from America's Next Top Model. I've been watching a lot of her videos. I, I just really like her energy. I think she's super cool. And then... Uh, a YouTuber, Best Dressed. I've been really loving her content. I think she's so cool. I just really like their energy. It's just something nice to watch. But yeah, that's kind of been getting me through quarantine because I haven't really been going out that much. I added a gradient map, luminosity, just a little bit. Why am I not feeling the colors anymore? Am I going to change up everything? Why am I doing this to myself? I'm sure it looks fine. See, this is why it takes me forever because I'm so indecisive and I'm just like, let's add more. But it was fine to begin with. I don't know. Highlights maybe? I'm not going to lie. I really like using the mouse. It's so much easier. <laughs> so much easier, especially like when I'm clicking and editing each layer, like adjustment layers especially. It's nice to use a mouse. I'm not going to lie bringing me back to the days where I used to wake up at six in the morning to beat my brother so I can go on the com I mean not beat my brother but like beat him to the computer because <laughs> we used to like wake up super early and I really wanted to go on Neopets and everything but whoever woke up the earliest first would have access to the computer so I'd wake up like 6 a.m sneak downstairs past my parents room and then if the computer was empty it was like oh you know I made it but then sometimes I would wake up and go to the computer and then my brother was already on it. And I'm like, damn, he beat me to it. 
he slept less than me. <laughs> Those were the good old days. So I added one last black and white layer. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. It's kind of making things a little dark. Maybe lighten. Does it even do anything? Does that even do anything lighten? You ever have layer settings you don't even use? Like subtract? There's somebody in the comments like, I use that every morning when I wake up. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Very subtle, but I added a little bit of exclusion. I kind of like got rid of the highlight there. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. Let me see. Let me see what I did. I have no idea what I did here. Let's see before and after. So this is before. Oh, that's after. Okay, it really did make a difference. One last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a curves layer, set it to luminosity. I feel like I'm just doing too much. Like I should have stopped 20 steps ago. But you know what? You'll never know until you try, right? So that's why we try. We make it look uglier and then we just delete it. And we waste time. <laughs> you know what? Okay, I'll just do one more curves layer. Just one more. One more, guys. I know, I kill, I literally killed it. Like, why am I doing this? It looks nice. Okay, maybe just... Maybe? No? Does that look ugly? I don't even know. Can't even tell anymore. Yeah, we did something. It made a difference. Let's just... We're keeping it. I'm not deleting this one. <laughs> I'm sure somehow it made a difference in there. It looks good. It looks good. All right, so I'm all done. Let me show you guys the full before and after. This is the before. And this is after. I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out awesome. I, do, I don't feel like I did too much. I feel like I was almost getting there, but I stopped myself. So overall, really happy with it. And I'm not just saying this because they sponsored the video, but I really loved editing and retouching with the mouse. It was really nice to use, so probably going to be doing that. I, just, I miss using a mouse. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the final photo and what you guys want to see for the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.